Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd start the videos off with a juniper. I need to take the wire off, rewire it and add some more shape back into the tree. This was its only first styling. When I first got the tree it was a straight up tree with a bit of dead wood on the top and it had about three, four branches on the left hand side of it. Or the right hand side, that depends if we look at the back of the front. So I just left it for a bit on the benches which I should have photographs of it on the bench, but none as it was by itself, because there, uh, it's a shy of pipe. I put this bend in about two years ago. I just put a cut in the tree, taped it up, and find a screw, throw the top down into it, the cape of bend. And when I took the tape off, I think it was about a year ago, it had healed lovely. So I ginned a bit more back on this tree, a branch split this branch in here to create a front pad and a back pad so I can eliminate these branches round in the back and over the top and one for the apex. I'll have a look and see what photos I've got and what I'll do is I'll put a little slideshow there now. So the first thing I want to do is remove the wire. I will be cutting all the wire apart from the, the get one mil stuff on the end on the new growth. But for the heavy stuff, I will be cutting, getting it off. I know you'll get a length of wire about that big six mil, but if you strip the bark, you buggered the tree. Plus the wire only costs you 15 quid for a 500 gram roll. So it's worth just buying your wire. So please cut it off. Don't be tempted to save it and be a cheap skinned, just buy some more wire. Some of it's been in pretty bad, so if I kind of get the cutters in there, I, yeah, I'm going to have to take a gamble to free it up a bit so I can get the cutters in the cut. I'll give you a look at the train now before I get the wire off. Then I'll either put a little short snipping up of cutting the wire off, or I'll just skip it all together. So that's where I put the bend in. I just cut a V slot, bent it over. And I'll put that screw through the top. I'll re callus that so it starts to grow over and it'll eventually hide the screw. So if you imagine it was all straight up, it only had the one, two, three, four, and that little branch at the back. So it was all on one side. I could have created a windswept, but I didn't want a windswept journey. Anyway. So I added the movement in, killed the top half of this tree and added the gins and the shari in. I'm not too sure about that, I just left that. It can easily come off or stop one. That's where I branch split, which there's still two good thick branches. So that one come forward and that one round into the back. Here's where the wires bit, bit in a bit. And on the top. So I'll be cutting all that off. I've got my two pair of wire cutters. I've got the heavy ones for the thick wire up here. And the thin ones for the little bits down here. So like I see is, I will be just cutting everything. It's going to take a bit of time. It's better than losing a branch like I see it. The sake of 15 quid of roller wire or 25 for the Kilo rolls. Greenwood Bonsai. So I'm just going to keep on working away at this. I finally got the wire off last night. It has started to bite in places. So it was a good call to get it off. It took about and now and a half to two hours, I was just sitting watching Netflix while I was playing. The first thing I want to do is clean the gins, get them lime sulfur, just in case I, if I need to put some more wire on to bend some of these heavy branches, I can go over the top of the lime sulfur once it's done. I might not need to put these branches into place because as you can see, it's held pretty much. Where's the button? The big thick branches held pretty much in place so it's only going to be really the tips 
then if I need to do anything I can put tourney keys on if I need to pull them but we'll see well the first things first get the water out wire brush and get these cleaned up I'm just going to give it a light dusting but I'm going to give the foliage a good spray because it's been in there all night I'm just going to come in with our brush just to get this green crap off Keep working over here, getting all the green mould off. I'll get off what we can, just so we can give it a coat of lime sulphur. We'll come in and do the, where the branches split, and I've got a little tiny bit gin in there. Don't know why I put that in there, but. I'm going to give it a good soak, let it dry in for a bit and come back with the lime sulphur. I'm going to come in with a bit of paper towel and just give it a little bit of a dry with this paper towel so it can pull the rest of the grain off. Okay, I want to give that just a couple of minutes just to dry off a little bit because you don't want it too wet when you're applying the lime sulphur or it'll just run all over the shop so I'll let that dry off a bit I'll get my lime sulphur ready and we'll come in and give it a little paint so it's had a couple of minutes to dry so I'm just gonna give it a light dusting with this Don't need to help preserve the dead wood and to make it pop, make it stand out nice and white, make it look like our Howard, nice and white. So you might want to watch us do all this, what I'll do is I'll just get this done then we'll come back. You can see all the nice you new know, grown tips on the end there, so it's nice and healthy. If that was a bit long, I would just cut it back a little bit to the junction. I wouldn't cut all the way back because you're just stopping the tree from growing. It's like hitting a brick wall. So all your journey was either pinch or go back gently. So this is pretty much cleaned out this one here. I'll clean this full pad out, then we'll get this one wired. I'm gonna be wiring this one to this one and that one to that one and them two together so when I measure I just add a little bit on to that and I add a bit on that side so you add enough on for your wraps because there's nothing worse once you get to the end and it's not and it's too short so on this we can see the wire scoring the wire went anti-clockwise I can either run up the line of that scar or I can go the opposite direction. I'm going to go the opposite direction. My shed's too small, so if the angle's crap, it's crap. <laughs> and try and keep some sort of resemblance of a 45. Sometimes you can't. Once you get a bit of wire on you can start bending them out the way. This wire is too thick, but I'm just going to run it to the end. To there. And this is going in the opposite direction that the wire score on here. The reason I'm taking this down to the end of here is because I think this wants to come up a little bit. I'm just going to run that 
to there. You can see how much weight I wasted. There's about two and a half inches on there, about six inches on there, but it is what it is. I'd rather have it six inches longer and six inches smaller. I'll not waste these, they'll come in handy to mark the front of the pots if I haven't done so on any other trays. So they'll come in handy for that. And there's our first bit of wire on. I want to wire these two. So we need to drop down the wire now. I'm just making sure I'm going the opposite way at the wire scars. That's how it took us a while to keep off there. <laughs> Try not to trap any foliage. Because it'll just go brown and look shit. Yeah, it'll go brown and look crap. If in doubt, pull it out. So I'll continue wiring this. And once all the fine wiring's done, what I'm going to wire I'll come back in and give you a quick close up of it before I continue the rest okay I'm getting the first branch wired let's have a little look at the wiring on this first branch I've just wired it loose on the end of the foliage which I have wired like I say I haven't wired it all Finally getting all the wire on the tray. So it's time to start and add a bit of shape into it. I'll be working on this first pad here and working around the tray. This one at the back, I don't think I need, but if I do use it, I'll bend it up so you can't see it hanging down into here. So what we'll do is, we'll start with this one and then we'll come up the tray till we get the apex. So that'll do for that first one. As you say, we'll create width and depth. So once that fills out, that'll be a nice pad. What I want to do is try and create one out of here in the back. Then I'll work around the tray. Then we'll come to the top. So I'll speed this process up until we get to the apex. Then we'll come back and see what we can make out of the apex. I'm looking at this branch here, it looks a bit high so I might need to pull a tourniquet on 
to pull it round and down instead of putting loads of wire on I'll put a tawny care on and pull it into here don't know if I'm going to use that as part of the apex and have one big apex or another pad that's dark a little apex but what I'll do is I'll just get this tawny care first style this Okay, that draws us to the end of the video on this journey. But I've got to say it's a hundred times better off when I first received the tree when it was just straight up. It's got a lot of years to grow yet to get the pads all filled out. But I'm quite happy with the way it's looking, starting to look. It's a good job I didn't cut that off for me tawny kit to tie on now. I can always get shot of that later on. And when I really put it, I'll put it at the direction I want. So we're quite happy with that. All right, that's one down. Just another, hmm, how many to go? So I'll just have to keep on getting them done as soon as I get time. But as always, thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da, folks! Mm -hmm.